The first example we're going to look at is a corporate vehicle fleet that runs on natural gas. This particular fleet consumes 90,000 gallons of liquefied natural gas each year. How many metric tons of greenhouse gases is this fleet responsible for over the course of one year? A couple of hints to keep in mind. The 1,000 cubic feet of natural gas is equal to 12.1 gallons of liquefied natural gas. And the emission factor for natural gas is 0.12 pounds of carbon dioxide per cubic foot. One of the first things that may jump out at you about this problem is that the activity data and the emission factor are not in the same units. And this is something that you will come across frequently when calculating greenhouse gas emissions. In this case, we know how many gallons of natural gas this particular vehicle fleet consumed. And we know the emission factor for natural gas in terms of cubic feet. Furthermore, we know that the conversion from cubic feet to gallons is in the form of 1,000 cubic feet, MCFs, which is uh, often what you run into with natural gas. So anyhow, don't be intimidated by the conversions. It's rather simple. In this case, we know that the first step is to either convert the gallons consumed by the vehicle fleet into cubic feet, so we can multiply by our emission factor, or to convert the emission factor from cubic feet into gallons. We've chosen to convert the gallons of liquefied natural gas that the vehicle fleet consumed into natural gas. So, we know that the vehicle fleet consumed 90,000 gallons, and we know that there are 12.1 gallons per MCF. So this gives us 7,438 MCF. Now remember an MCF is 1,000 cubic feet. So really what we have here is 7,438,000 ,000 cubic feet of natural gas. So in order to arrive at cubic feet, we'll multiply by 1,000. I'm sorry, let me, 1,000, which is the number, of course, of cubic feet per MCF. And this is going to give us our final number, which is 7,438,017 cubic feet. So now we know that this particular vehicle fleet consumed 7,438,017 cubic feet of natural gas in the course of the year. The next step is going to be to multiply that number by our emission factor. So 7,438,017 cubic feet multiplied by 0 0.12 pounds of carbon dioxide per cubic foot. And that's going to give us 895, I'm sorry, 892,562 pounds of carbon dioxide. So that's basically our answer. That's how much carbon dioxide the vehicle fleet is responsible for over the course of the year. However, we did ask for metric tons, so let's convert that to metric tons real quick. We have 892,562 pounds of carbon dioxide. So we're simply going to divide that by 2,204.6, if you want to be precise, which is the number of pounds in a metric ton. And that's going to give us 404.86 metric tons of carbon dioxide. So that's our answer. This particular vehicle fleet is responsible for 404.86 metric tons of carbon dioxide each year. And that was answer A in the problem.
The next example that we're going to look at involves a company that's calculating its scope one emissions using fuel purchase records. Last year, the company purchased 714 gallons of gasoline, 212 gallons of diesel fuel, and 3 million cubic feet of natural gas. What were the company's scope one emissions that year? A couple of hints once again. The emission factor for gasoline is 19.37 pounds of carbon dioxide per gallon. The emission factor for diesel is slightly higher at 22.23 pounds of carbon dioxide per gallon. And the emission factor for natural gas is 0 0.12 pounds of carbon dioxide per cubic foot. And all these emission factors are sourced from the EPA and they are all available on the course website. So for this problem, in order to calculate emissions, we're going to look at each fossil fuel separately, beginning with gasoline. So, we know that this particular f company purchased 714 gal gallons of gasoline. I'm sorry, bear with me. 714 gallons, and we know that the emission factor for gasoline is 19.37 pounds of carbon dioxide per gallon. If we multiply those two together, we get 13,830 pounds of carbon dioxide. Now we're going to go ahead and convert this to metric tons while we're at it. 13,830 pounds of carbon dioxide. and divide that number by 2,204.6, which is the number of pounds per metric ton. And that's going to give us 6.27 metric tons of carbon dioxide. Now let's take a look at diesel. The company purchased 212 gallons of diesel fuel and we know that the emission factor for diesel fuel is 22.23 pounds of carbon dioxide per gallon. If we multiply the numbers together we get 4,713 <coughs> pounds of carbon dioxide. And once again we'll convert that to metric tons 4,000 713 pounds divided by 2,204.6 pounds per metric ton gives us 2.14 metric tons of carbon dioxide. And just a point of clarification, the 0.6 on the conversion from pounds to metric tons that 0 0.6 isn't really necessary but for the sake of accuracy we'll throw it in there now but uh, that wouldn't be considered a significant digit so you could just leave that out and lastly we're going to calculate the emissions from the natural gas that the company purchased we know that the company purchased 3 million cubic feet I'm sorry, 3 million cubic feet and we know that the emission factor is 0 0.12 pounds of carbon dioxide per cubic foot which gives us 360 thousand pounds of carbon dioxide we'll convert that to metric tons 360 thousand pounds of CO2 
divided by 2204.6, which is pounds per metric ton. That's going to give us 163.29 metric tons of CO2. And so the final step in this problem for calculating the company's scope one emissions is simply to add up these three numbers that we've already calculated. So 6.27 metric tons plus 2.14 metric tons plus 163.29 metric tons equals 171.71 metric tons of CO2. And that is our answer for this problem. If we look back up to the top, we see that that would be answer number B, 172 metric tons.